I wanted to know how effective sheep breeding and trading are in mana lots, so I tested if I could build up my village by buying some sheep at the start, letting them reproduce, selling the yarn which I produced from their wool, and buying in exchange everything I needed to develop my town. And when I felt like I had enough sheep to also sell their grown up offspring. I hoped that they would reproduce exponentially, like we would expect, but I never paid attention to how the game is handling the reproduction of livestock. But at some point, around 20 sheep, my income went crazy from trading, and I could buy everything I wanted without going bankrupt. But before we go further into detail about how I developed my village to succeed, I want to go quickly over the map setting which I used for my game. I choose D on the Edge Scenario template on default and only change the end goal to none. The setting means I had only one year to prepare for the first attack. It could also be possible to play on the challenging difficulty, since I made a few mistakes because of a lack of game knowledge. My first approach to building up a city with only sheep and trade was to rush the trading post, sheep farm and livestock trading post, and hope I could handle everything with one sheep and a lamp from my 50 regional starting wealth. But this was a bit too enthusiastic. So after a few tries, I ended up losing up the rules until I allowed a hunting camp, goats and chickens in the Burgage plots backyards for the early game food supply. Also, the height from the hunting camp and the goats helped a lot over the first years, with my income by selling them over the trading post. Additionally, I had to produce locks myself, since I didn't see that they were tradable. And at last, I had to give up buying firewood. Buying firewood soaked the wealth out of my village which was therefore barely able to survive, and consequently I was too poor to buy weapons to defend myself. Because importing all the goods that the village needs to survive the early game is pretty expensive, we need to pick up some trades in the development screen to make this challenge work. The first one I picked up was the trade logistics. This reduces the cost of establishing trade routes to a maximum of 25 wells. But mainly I was interested in the follow-up trade better deals, which reduces the import cost of everything by 10 wealth, which means most goods are reduced by more than half afterwards. This is important because weapons are too expensive otherwise in the early game and therefore it is hard to keep up against increasing numbers of raiders. The last important trait is the sheep breeding trait, which allows sheep to slowly reproduce themselves on pastures. In my first try, to make trade only work, I picked up sheep breeding first, but then I had trouble buying enough weapons for the defense. But it could also be possible that the problem was that I didn't rush the church in my first try, and then my overall development was too slow, and therefore I hadn't early enough all three mentioned trades. Because the church is needed to pick up the second and third trade, which we can choose when we reach the milestones of upgrading two Burgage plots to level 2, and afterwards five more, which is easily to achieve in no time, after each other as soon as the church is built. In addition, the Burgage plots provide regional wealth income, which helps to get the trading started. Anyway, the first years were hard, and it was a balance act between buying chickens for eggs to survive or goats for leather to sell. Sheep I bought nearly none in the first years, but they steadily reproduced themselves, so I only had to hold on until they reached their critical mass, where they produced so much offspring and wool for sale that I could easily buy everything I needed and wanted. During the game, I felt behind in the arms race, at some point, I think, and had to abuse the church gate as a choke point to defend against larger numbers. I have no clue if that had an effect in the current state of the combat system, but I was able to hold. This happened shortly before I reached the 20 sheep mark, and suddenly I had no trouble anymore to keep up. The only thing I had to do was to create for everything buy orders in the trade post, and make sure I had enough market stores to bring the goods to the folks. At this point, I was finally able to build my manor to raise land tax. The tax I kept at 10% throughout the rest of the game, and I was able to maintain a standing army of mercenaries from it, without struggling with the regional wealth and personal treasure. If you want to give it a try to play with the same restrictions, or to try to push it even further, 
I have to warn you, because I spent the first game years mostly waiting for my hides, wool and yarn to be sold, so I could buy weapons in exchange for my militia. While my sheep reproduced themselves, up to the critical point where further development became that easy that I lost interest in developing my village further, because of the missing challenge. I hope I could give you an idea of how powerful sheep breeding and trading are in Manor Lords. And until next time.